Three thousand. That's great. I'll I'll take it. Hey, this is the only Ninja Gaiden we don't have in the collection. <gasps> G.I. Joe, that's gonna be the big one. I'm gonna look at this G.I. Joe game. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of The Retro Life. Basically, the day in the life of a retro game and toy collector, buyer, reseller, enthusiast. I love it all, guys. The collection that you guys are seeing behind me, I have primarily gotten at secondhand shops like garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, uh, anywhere that I can find stuff cheap because I love collecting all of these pieces, but I don't like to get on eBay pay the eBay prices, I like to find this stuff out in the wild. So basically I go out, I find this stuff, and then I also grab items that maybe I already have in my collection and then I buy and, and then flip those to be able to fund the collection. And we have a ton to cover in today's episode. We got some stuff going on in the game room to talk about. We're gonna go hunt and I have a very specific game hunting challenge that I've never done before uh, on, on the channel that I'm really excited uh, about doing as well. So we're about to get into it. But before we do, if you are new to the channel and you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, everything from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, then do me a favor and hit that friggin' subscribe button every single Monday and Thursday. We're coming out with new retro nostalgic type videos, and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so today I want to organize uh, specifically my NES collection. Will you be the one to experience the Nintendo Entertainment System? Comes with Rob, Zapper, Control Deck, Two Controllers, Gyromite, and Duck Hunt. I've been getting quite a few games uh, here as of late. You guys saw me get the crazy haul of box games at a, at a local game store. Uh, and I've picked up a, a couple other ones here uh, recently, but it's just getting a, a bit cluttered. They're not organized. I used to have all these in alphabetical order, so I'm about to do that. I may put a couple of my better games up in this area just for the case of having them a little bit more organized and knowing which games uh, that I have that I actually have in the collection. I'm going to uh, alphabetize these and try to make this a bit more uh, cleaner and more organized. So up here, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of some of these items to actually make space for more for more games. And this is all going to kind of come together here in the end of the video as well with our game hunting challenge. So let's go to future Rick when all of this is already organized. So you're probably thinking, Rick, it looks the exact same. It isn't guys, I swear it looks better and it is organized, which makes me, which at least makes me feel better. So uh, here's the crazy thing guys, I did not even realize I had doubles in there mixed in. If you would have asked me what doubles do you have to trade, I would have said I don't have any. Liar. But look, I got all these games down here. Uh, Wall Street Kid, Castlevania, Super C, Crystallis or Crystallis, I always forget, I forget how you say it. This is actually a really fun game. I don't hear a ton of people talk about it and check out how clean this one is, meaning my other one that's staying in the collection must look friggin' mint. Uh, let's get over to the games. Uh, up here are just some games that are not in alphabetical order. There's ones that I'm playing a little more, a little more frequently, Capcom games, some spooky games since we're getting close to uh, Halloween, and then all of my box games yeah, everything in order making me feel good you got the numbered games all the way through obviously this just helps now when someone's over here hanging out and they're like dude you got ghosts and goblins and be like yeah dude I got ghosts and goblins do you got uh journey to Silius? i do and in fact let's play it because i freaking love that game if you never played that game check it out as well that's skyrocketed too man i cannot believe how much games have went up in value even nes games and then here are my tengen games down there tengen tengen could not bear to put those in order uh, within all the other games because of my ocd i just could not do it but i feel a, a ton better about this now we're about to go hunt at a flea market it's called south on main creative i've only been to it one other time on the channel it's not a huge one so not you know big enough to make like a whole retro hunting episode but uh, definitely some cool stuff there so let's go head over to the flea market and hunt okay right off the bat 
I love this elf. Look at elf, man. What, vegetables again? That's not food. That's the stuff food eats. <laughs> How much is he? How much is he? How much is he? 32 bucks. There's some cool stuff already. I like this Mario. Mario's pretty neat. And you got Yoshi. Okay, this is wild. It's gonna be like early 80s. Maybe even older than that. Another robot. Another robot, man. Come on. Look at this one. Magic Mike 2. Not the Magic Mike we all know and love, right? <laughs> different, different Magic Mike. But that's pretty, that's pretty rad. I want to make sure I don't miss anything in here because I already like this one. I like this booth. Got this old Daffy glass. Nine bucks. Yeah, this is the booth I got a Contra handheld from at one point. Oscar Mayer Wiener plush. It was like a Beanie Baby. Like legit. Whoa, look at this. I missed this. Strawberry shortcake. Big Berry trolley. Hold on, because it wobbles a lot. And goes clickety-click. 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 New strawberry shortcake Big Berry trolley. Dolls with pets each sold separately. They're from Kenner. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Here are some more of those little handhelds. Football. Ah. Don't break things. Football one. And then here's a... Quarterback one, Coleco, and then a baseball one. I think this is the same lunchbox we saw last time. It's a Micro Machines one, and it's super cheap, but it's too faded. Six bucks, but it's really faded. And there's a Gumby puzzle or something down there. Okay, Huckleberry Hound. What are these? Story? Fortune teller? Little bags? New old stock, 1977? You say we're gonna meet a stranger, Huck? Yep, a tall, dark stranger with whiskers. Uh, I like these. Got a Barney, 1993. See, there's some cool stuff in here. There's definitely some cool stuff in here. Something Dick Tracy. These are old stickers. It's like a bunch of new old stock stuff. I mean, that looks like it's pristine. And then we got some, oh, look at these Ziggy Puffy stickers, dude. Okay, those are really cool. So I got those. Here's some uh, episode one stickers. And also, stickers not included. Okay, these are like a, this is just a sticker album. What? Space Jam. I'm obsessed with Space Jam stuff. What is this? I've never seen this before. It's just like two little plushes of two of the villains. I've never seen that. You, all of you, are now our prisoners. I'm enjoying it, but I don't actually think I'm gonna get it. And then look at this, just a whole bunch of goosebumps. A ton of them, Let's see how much these are. I'm assuming they're, being, you know, they're gonna be around two to three each. And it is four bucks. But it's still cool to see all these old, all these old goosebumps books. There's a ton of them, man. Look at this. Mr. T coloring book. Get out of town. <laughs> That's cool too. This is gift wrap. Troll gift wrap. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love it. A bunch of little buttons. There's a California raisin button. California raisins from the California vineyards. Loved me some California raisins back in the day. Yo, 1990 turtle pin. I love it. People think I'm that. Just a whole thing of coins. Mardi Gras doubloons. Okay. Face fur. 1972. Where are they getting this stuff? It's like so pristine. Where? We saw these last time. These are Austin Powers, like, postcards. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh my gosh, it's so good. He's like a dog or something. Oh, that's funny, man. That is funny. We see something E.T. Seeing something E.T. It's just the finger. 
1980s pin. Just the ET finger. How funny is that? See, there's some cool booths here. I just see a couple uh, gold books over here. I actually have, I have this big cheese caper one. The Berenstain Bears. I think these are all Berenstain Bears. Huh? Wow. Wow, that one's cool. It's a McDonald's one. I just love looking at this kind of stuff. Just thumb and throw them. My son reads these now. Not these old ones, but... Ooh, that one's cool. I actually think I have this one too, though. Tailspin Ghost Ship. So pretty cool to see those. Always so many either empty bottles of soda and stuff, pop, but also filled also, I don't know. But I don't know who collects those. I'm sure there are people out there that do. There's some cards, old Mickey cards. Whoa, that is crazy old. Whoa, there's Pee Wee cards right there. Can't really talk about it, you know, James Bond kind of stuff. I might have to see how much those are. Pee Wee Playhouse cards. Or maybe I'll look them up, see how much they cost, and then I'll just buy some cheaper someplace, because so far the prices are pretty expensive. Here's another Viewmaster. I've never seen one of this color until recently, and now this is like my third time in a couple weeks seeing, seeing that. We're seeing cool stuff, that's for sure. Uh, Andy Griffith trading card collector set. Oh, oh yeah. Lunchbox. It is the six million dollar man. I don't know nothing about that. 1978. Uh, negative nine years old for me on that. But this for seeing one. Oh, here is a. Here's a thermos. Oh my gosh! I'm getting this. I'm getting this for somebody. I know exactly who I'm getting it for. As Voltron's legend grew. Peace settled across the galaxy. <laughs> yes. uh, my boss loves Voltron. So he's getting this. That's so cool. Score. Oh, here's a bunch. Here's a bunch of them down here. We got a Barney one. This Pac Man one. Look at this. Nice. What is this dated? 1980. Nothing like these old thermoses. Love More postcards. These are 1990s postcards. Yeah, at least it says 1990s. You got Ziggy, Garfield. Garfield doesn't get enough love nowadays, man. I am not leaving. He does not. All right, back here is getting to be like real vintage stuff, like really old furniture and plates. Uh, a picture of this guy and his white pup. So nothing, nothing really back here. The front had some really cool stuff. I mean, like, look at this weird, weird stuff, man. All right, so I think that is it or south uh, on Main Creative. Find a cool thing. Look at this, we got Voltron. We got Voltron the thermos. Really sweet to pick up that Voltron thermos. I never see Voltron stuff, especially vintage Voltron stuff, ever. I already given that away and it is in good hands, but that was cool uh, to, to see that and to find that. So next up on the agenda is the whole challenge, the game hunting challenge for this episode. The first time we have ever done this. We are doing a no budget video game hunt, meaning I'm gonna go to all the game stores in my area that sell retro type video games. I think there are five total, four game exchanges, one game point, uh, and we are gonna go and specifically look for, this week is NES games. Uh, that's why we kind of organize all of the NES games over here, and any game that we don't have in the collection, I'm gonna buy. 
That's a lot of money. So this could get wild. I don't know what kind of stock these game stores have right now. Now I'm a little nervous about this because who knows what we're gonna find, but that is, that is a challenge. Let's do it. All right, first stop, first game exchange. Let's go. All the common games right off the bat. RC Pro-Am, always one of those games that's like so good. It's so cheap, $4.99, but definitely already have that. This is actually a little bit more of an uncommon one. I don't see, I say uncommon. I don't see that rest of the game as much as some of the other ones. Hey, this is the only Ninja game we don't have in the collection. Just Ninja Gaiden so far. Where'd I put it? Let's go see if they got some more up in the front. Some of the more expensive games. Alright, so the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance ones. So SNES and NES games must be someplace else. Okay, I see two Super Nintendo games. And that's literally it. I don't see any Nintendo games at all. Maybe I'll ask, but I'm surprised by that. Huh, okay. If they don't have any other ones, at least we found one, but that stinks. I thought for sure they'd have at least a couple. Do you have any other like Nintendo games other than the ones that are right there? The NES ones? No, unless there's expensive ones in there. Yeah, I didn't see any. Yeah, so it's just so. cleaned out right now. Yeah. That's a bummer. Crap, look how much time it is. 165. Disc only. All right, game exchange number two. Let's go. How are y'all? Doing all right. How are you doing? We do for you. I'm just kind of looking around, man. You know how much this Jungle Book game is right here? The NES game? Uh, 3,000. 3,000? That's a great. I'll, I'll take it. Think that joke was funny, that wasn't. I think I'll get that if I can look at that. Do you have any more NES games by chance? I'll hold on to that for me, I'll okay. take that. Cool. Jungle Book is actually pretty rare. All right, Game Exchange 3, I believe, number 3. I'm looking for NES games. Right there? Okay, cool. Do you have any over here by chance? Got one, it looks like. Great game, I love that spot. I already have that one, okay. All right, guys, here we are again, looking for any comments? Oh man, I love me some Blaster Master. I already have it. Best request also. This one gets a lot of hate. I actually really liked this game back in the day. This is another wrestling game. I don't see it too terribly often, but got it already. Kid Cole. Whoa. Poor label. All right, so a strikeout at this game exchange. All right, guys, next stop, Game Point on the hunt for NES games. Let's go. Here we go, here we go. Okay, I know I don't have Desert Commander. But I got Demon Sword. I got Three Stooges recently. I don't have Battle Chess. Recently picked up Goonies 2. Thankfully, I have Shatterhand. Right there, y'all. G.I. Joe. That's gonna be the big one. I don't have that one. I got both of the Mega Mans. Clash at Demon Head I need back there. I got the rest of these, y'all. Okay. 
So we are picking up a few games. Oh, there's more up here too. Um, I can't, I cannot believe how much Yonoid is going for. 25 for Yonoid, it's insane. I'm gonna, get a I'm gonna get a couple games out of here when you get a chance. I am gonna get Baseball Stars, that one, and then Battle Chess right by you, right in front of you, and then Desert Commander, and then at the bottom, let's see, uh, Clash at Demon Head, it's the farthest one right here in the middle. Uh, sorry, up at the top, right there, that one. I'm gonna look at this G.I. Joe game. I think that's it. Yeah. This is the last game exchange in the area. to go around. I wonder if I see these two Nintendo games up here in the front. It's those two low, low games right down there. I'll get that one. Okay. I'll get both of those and this one. We got some pretty sweet games to add to the NES collection specifically. Now I will be honest, this challenge was a little scary. I mean, going in blind to game stores saying, if I don't have the game, I'm buying it. I don't care what the price is, but we did get some great games at some great prices. So let's jump into these. The first one is Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden, however you want to say it, to Ninja Gaiden, the Dark Sword of Chaos. Now, I am a huge fan of the Ninja Gaiden game, the, the original one. I don't know if it's just like nostalgia for me, but I actually did really like it. And it was on one of my favorite movies ever, uh, The Wizard. Look at him. He's making the jump. It's his second time through and he hasn't even taken a hit yet. Uh, whenever he had to, to play that game to get to the next stage uh, of the contest. And then the next game we got was from a different game exchange. This was The Jungle Book. Now you're probably pretty surprised by how much this is going for. This was $35, that's about market value. That's how most game stores kind of operate. I've never played this one on NES because I think this was an, uh, a later release. I have it on Genesis and uh, Super Nintendo, but did not have that on NES. So cool to add that one. Then we jumped over to Game Point, one of my favorite places to visit uh, in my area. If you are ever in the, the central Arkansas area, you gotta check out Game Point. The first one we got is Desert Commander. Now, I have no idea what this is about or if it's any good, but this was was 10 bucks, so cool to get that. We got Battle Chess, uh, maybe some kind of like battling element other than just playing chess. I'm hoping if it's called Battle Chess, y'all let me know down below. Uh, Baseball Stars. Now, this is one that I don't see too terribly often and a really, really fun baseball game on the NES. Now, here is one that is super nostalgic for me. It's Clash at Demon Head, a very uh, Japanese type game. It is a platformer with RPG elements and it's not linear, so you can like backtrack uh, back to, you know, different areas of the game, but this is a really great game. Uh, I played this a ton when I was a kid. I don't know how I understood it, because, you know, back then, didn't have strategy guides, didn't have internet, and I got pretty far in this game. Never beat it, but maybe that will be my new challenge for that one. And then the big one, the heavy hitter, or, or one of the big heavy hitters for uh, the week was G.I. Joe. Now, this was 90, and, you know, ordinarily, I probably wouldn't have picked this up, but again, the challenge, but I'm glad that I did, because... Uh, I definitely wanted to add this add this to the collection. I think there are two, maybe three, G.I. Joe games for the NES, so uh, cool to get this one. And then our last stop was the last game exchange here in the area, and we got Casino Kid Poker. Uh, I can't imagine this being good at all, but an another filler to add to the collection. And then we got two great games, guys. Lolo 2 uh, and Lolo 3. Now, if you've never played the Lolo games, they're great kind of like puzzly games, uh, really fun. Uh, and I have the original one, but I don't have or didn't have two or three. So to get these was pretty sweet. The labels are really clean on both of these. I will take a hair dryer or something to get these stickers off 
to make them look like new, but now I have the entire Lolo set on NES. So that was fun. Uh, you guys tell me down below if you want me to do that again, uh, or tell me what system you would like me to do that for, the, the, the whole no budget game hunting challenge. Guys, as always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would like the video, it helps out in some way, some form or fashion with the algorithm, and it helps the channel out. Also subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, peace.